What's up guys? Welcome to a new LumaFusion tutorial. It's been a while. I'm very sorry about the last weeks were quite stressful, but now I'm back with a new tutorial and today we are creating this together. So we are creating a simple role transition, as simple as it could be be made in LumaFusion, which isn't that simple, but you can see in the length of the video, it's not too hard. But as always, if you're too lazy to create it yourself, you will find it as an update in my LumaFusion Ultimate Bundle. If you own the bundle, simply load the update. If you don't have it, go and check it out. Link is up there in the info box or down in the description, which will lead you to my self page where you can find all my products. And as always, for the YouTube algorithm, please give this video a thumb up, write a comment, don't forget to subscribe my channel to so don't miss any video in future and activate the bell, that's very important in these days. So, But now let's jump into LumaFusion. Welcome to LumaFusion. As mentioned before, we are going to create a easy rolling transition. Easy as far as it could be easy in LumaFusion. There are a few steps involved but nothing too complicated and everything can be saved as presets and reused. That's the awesome part. As with most of the transitions, we are going to start with two clips where we want to create a transition in between. And what we are going to do first is to cut 10 frame long snippets at the end of the first and the beginning of the second clip. And then we are double tapping the first clip to go to the edit mode and frame and fit and we are setting a keyframe at the beginning of the clip and, and the second keyframe at the end and at the end we are going to increase the size to 180 and rotate the clip to minus 120 degrees make sure it's exactly 120 degrees and it looks like in the example now let's jump back to our timeline and repeat the same with the second snippet. So go to frame and fit, add a keyframe at the beginning and one at the end. But this time we are increasing the size at the first keyframe to 180 and we are going to rotate the clip to 120 degrees. So not minus 120, but 120 degrees. And as before, make sure the rotation is exactly 120 degrees. Okay, now let's jump back to our timeline. And the next step is to duplicate those two snippets. Therefore, click on the plus with the two rectangles at the bottom tools and then duplicate it. That's necessary because we don't want these black areas at the edges due to the rotation. And to prepare for a later step, we have to add a overlay title and place it right at the point where the bottom second snippet is at the moment. So cut it to 10 frames and place it in between the cutting areas and then drag and drop the second snippets above the overlay title like shown in the example. And then add a layer in between which is empty. Now let's start with adding some effects. Therefore go to the bottom snippets and add Gaussian 20 which you will find on the FX and the water drop. Simply add it without any keyframes to both of the bottom snippets. Do not wonder if you don't see any effect they are hidden beneath the top layer. Once done double tap the first bottom snippet, go to frame and fit and at the first keyframe change the size to 200. You don't have to be precise just have to, has to be about 200. And at the last keyframe, do the same, but this time size 300. And we're doing the same with the second bottom snippet, but the opposite. So at first keyframe, size will be 300. And at the second keyframe, the size will be 200. Now the black areas and the rotations are hidden but it doesn't look perfect. And that's what we are going to change now. Therefore, double tap the top 
first snippet, go to frame and fit and cropping and set a keyframe at the beginning and one at the end. And at the end, increase edge softness to about 40. So we don't have any hard corners. And do the same with the second top snippet. Go to frame and fit, cropping and add a keyframe at the beginning at the end. And at the first keyframe, add edge softness of 40. The transitions between the two layers are looking much nicer now. Now double tap the top first snippet, go to color and effects and the water drop again and add the effect swish to. Add a keyframe at the beginning and one keyframe at the end and at the first keyframe reduce the radius to zero. Go back to your timeline and do the same with the second top snippet. Go to color and effects, water drop and add swish to. Keyframe at the beginning and at the end and at the end reduce radius to zero. So the transition looks even better now, but we have to add one more effect and that's again effects and water drop the short zoom. And as before, we have to add a keyframe at the beginning and one at the end and at the beginning reduce the amount of to zero and repeat the same with the second top clip Add the effect short zoom, set a keyframe at the beginning and the end and at the end reduce the amount to zero. In order to make the transitions between the two clips even softer, we have to drag and drop the second snippets four frames above the first snippets. That's why we had to create a 120 degrees rotation instead of a 90 degree rotation. And what we are doing now is to blend the second snippet with uh, 0 to 100 so we get a nice transitions between the clips but therefore go to frame and fit, choose blending, set a keyframe at the 0 frames and one at 4 frames and at 0 frames set opacity to 0. And do the same with the top second snippet, add a keyframe at the first frame and one at the fourth frame and at the first frame set passage to zero. And now what we have to do last is simply cut away the overlay title to six frames and that's it. Now we have this pretty pretty cool transition all done as promised not too hard not too simple but pretty cool and let's have a look I would say. looks pretty cool, it's very fast. If you want to make it a little longer, so this one is just about half a second long, if you want to make it one second long, what you have to do is to save every frame and fit preset and color and FX preset for all the four snippets as a preset. And then just increase the length to about 15 frames or so and apply the presets and that's it. Please note that this is a 30 FPS timeline. Finally, there's just one step missing and this is to give a thumb up to the video. Please write a comment if you have any question. And if you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to activate the bell. So we are going to see each other in the next video.